kind of going to be about uh you know how you solo to like a riff right so what we have here is, is, is a riff and it just keeps repeating and it's pretty cool we'll break it down in a second but it's like this <laughs> this riff is cool because what we have here it's based around f sharp but uh, you've got your major third, minor third, flat second, and the root, right? So the first part of the riff is... And see, I do a lot of hammer on and pull off because it has to sound a certain way. It has that, it has that uh, vibe where it's just like bumping, you know, grooving when, you're, when it's kind of like... It's a lot of hammer, that's a lot of pull offs and stuff. If you just play it all picking, it, it, it just, it fall, it's not right. So it's gotta, it's gotta have that groove. Okay, so the second part, is taught is comes into just like a sound like Aerosmith or something like that. Just a so um, this is kind of weird because you got this real metally sounding thing, and then you're combining it with some like you know groovy rock riff or whatever, right? How, how am I going to solo over that? You can do different things. You, you, you get away with that, you know, just your, just your blues scale or whatever. But because you have this flat second, and you also have um, the major third. You're gonna think about um, like a harmonic minor kind of vibe, right? Okay, so um, we're the, this is actually called Phrygian major, starting on F sharp, F sharp Phrygian major. Okay, so we got the root, the flat second, the major third, the fourth, the fifth, the sharp fifth, and then we have a flat seven. Okay. comes from just uh, it's the fifth mode of the B harmonic minor. But now we, we can combine that, see, with the with the blues scale. So we have the minor third. And then of course our blues note, our devil note. got the minor third and the major third. So that's what's really cool about this. So what I like to do, a lot of these riffs you would do like your blues riffs. When you're dealing with the Instead of playing the minor third there, play the major. So 
anyway, you got all that going for you. So we can do a lot with this solo with all those notes. You know what I'm saying? Because you can also do passing notes. Like at the beginning, I'm going to do a little thing. Now that's no, we haven't discussed yet, but I'm kind of a Dorian or maybe a diminished. But you know, you can put that in there too. Why not? Why not? You know what I'm saying? I really like a lot of hammer on and pull offs. I just think it sounds. It to me just sound. A lot of that picking to me is harsher. This is just. It sounds prettier, you know, or smoother. Okay, so I want to kind of get that rain. Start it with that. So that's that's a cool riff because instead of going your usual uh, blues double stop, or whatever. Major third sounds awesome. All right. Now again, I'm gonna hit some wrong notes because I'm just learning this. I'm just making it up and learning. It. It's like got a little. I don't, I don't know how you would notate it or or read it, but it's like. Okay, that's our first part. And then when, when you write a solo too, you, you know, you're trying to say something. So I think of it as little statements. That's our first statement. That's our first statement, okay? So then then now we need another statement, okay? I gotta, I gotta see, I gotta step on it, man. I gotta really like have the attitude behind it, watch. <laughs> Probably do a little bit tighter or whatever, but um, okay. So like I said, now we're gonna go into something else. So that's what. So that's what I want to do. It's, it's almost like a Randy Rose thing, you know. And then at the end, I'm gonna do a thing. It's like just like a funky vibe, like. You see what I'm saying? I want to look at something. So what I'm doing is I'm sliding up to that major third. Now I can do it. But I think it sounds better to slide all slidey like that. Then I'll hit the minor third and bend it up to the major. So we have our little first riff. We'll do we'll do the we'll do this riff after that pops out. Okay, because when we're when we're writing, we don't need to get here and you know when we're writing something, right? We don't need to get here and, and play the the whole thing through in one pass or anything like that. We're just trying to see what's gonna work and what's not. We're gonna piece it together. You know, I can basically compose a solo and then go play it in one take and make it perfect and everything, but we can leave it a little sloppy for now because these are demos. We're just trying to get the songs set up i'm trying to figure out so when i go in the studio and we're paying you know 50 bucks an hour i don't have to um be trying to figure it out then i know what i'm going to do at least and i've written it and then i can practice it and when i go in boom i can just run this thing okay but we're writing it right now so i'm just showing you kind of the process on that so here we go <laughs> Now 
That's cool, right? I don't know, it might be cool to stop, it might be cool to hold, like... Or, because... It's cool, man, putting stops and stuff in your solos. It's, it's neat because a lot of guys just it just it, it never gives you a break. You know, you're kind of emulating singing. You know what I'm saying? So a singer, you know, isn't just you know, it's like you, you got breaks in there. So. You know, your solo should be singing, should be saying something, you know, it's, it's, um, you know, you want it to feel alive. So a lot of just, you know, 16th patterns and all this stuff is just not alive, you know? So anyways, let's try it. Let's try to run a lick on this bad boy. Go, we're going to, we're going to come in on our little third little phrase. All right. <laughs> This, to me it's kind of like a michael shanker thing where i'm starting on the flat fifth the uh, you know devil note and again the reason i'm playing this way is because um, to get that groove. If I did it like all picking, I mean, I, it's just not gonna be right. So. So I'm gonna end it with that. For it. I'm gonna balls out. Let's see what's up. All the same thing when I say balls out too, man. No matter, even if you're gonna, you gotta just play the shit with attitude. You know, you, you can't be scared like you're gonna fuck up the riff or something like that. You gotta be like just pumping it. And that's why even if you play sloppy or you make a mistake, as long as the attitude's inside of there, doesn't even matter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> This is what I was telling you in the beginning. It's got that legato sound like. That's it, bitch.